Okay, so um, today's task is to do some network debugging. Um, I am doing more drag and drop into uh, the browser, um, but I'm getting the fail to complete. Uh, basically, there's uh, some network, it's not network problems, but I want to debug actually on the network, and I've not used the uh, network debugger in Firefox before, so great time. So, form a reload, request a reload. <clears throat> great. Okay, so uh, okay, that's cool. I I don't think I've used this at all since the new uh, tool. So um, I'm really going to be kind of exploring as I go along. I want to clear this. I'm actually interested in the network request that happens uh, at this point. Okay, so we have an options now. I want to see. That actual request that's cool. I bump the font size up a little bit because I am getting blind in my age. <clears throat> that's cool. Okay, so um, oh, wrong one. Okay, options. So I'm doing an options request to the Amazon server. Content type, okay, so I'm asking to send that extra header, and I guess it's actually saying, go to the hell. Uh, it's just doing a straight 403. Do I get to see the, res oh, the response headers are here? <clears throat> okay, so I think it's because this this extra header I've added the, uh, the cache control. So I'm gonna take that as source code. Uh, where are we, Entry file. A cache. Oh, wrong file, sorry. Okay. So that loads fine. And <clears throat> that's our options. So we're expecting. Excuse me. Yeah, these guys. Okay, so this is good. This gives me what I want to see. Um, edit reset. That's pretty cool. I do like the reset. That's useful for um, like Ajax debugging. I guess you. Uh, I'm familiar with the uh, like the replay XHR in um, in Chrome, but I guess this will allow me to resend any any request. That's pretty sweet. I like that. Let's do three or four. That's cool. Um, and actually, that'd be useful for uh, a bit of testing without having to refresh. So, if this works, basically, I'm asking the browser to uh, to cache. So, um, oh, I like I like that. That's very cool. Cookies. Where's it put? <clears throat> so, I guess these are the uh, this access ID should have ex well would have expired. Um, so. You won't be able to do anything with it, thankfully. Um, so there is a cache control. Oh, there's cache control on, on the query string. That was successful. Okay. Um, I didn't realize this. So, okay, look, using this tool to actually look, like go through these individual tabs I'm actually finding out a bit about the code because I've pulled in a third library third party library. Oops. <clears throat> um, okay, so that's actually pretty useful. Um, I'm just gonna put you on pause because I'm gonna dig through some code and just 
it's not useful basically. Um, but I will come back in a moment to test the uh, whether or not the asset is being cached. So be right back. Okay, so uh, I've just made a small tweak to the code. I realised that the param that we were seeing was actually from my server side, so I'm just going to re uh, retest this. I think I had a screencast before where I was refreshing the dev tools and this wasn't update, updating. I'm pretty certain it sounds like it was to do with the um, uh, the multi-processor bugs, uh, the multi-processor flag. Okay, so we've still got 403. <clears throat> Cache control. That's the query string. That should match what we're sending in. Cache control. But it's denying it. Response. So there is no response. It's interesting that. Oh no, so the response head is no. Yeah, okay. I see the response headers here. Origin put, cache control, content type. Okay, I was hoping that would work. I'm going to put you on pause again, read a bit more around the X Amazon headers. So I will be right back. Resuming. Um, I want to test another thing. Uh, is there a shortcut for clearing? Nope. Uh, I was doing Control L. Just I'm used to doing that for um, like the console, for instance. I know that's wrong. So I've just updated the code to send the uh, the header slightly differently. <clears throat> God. Okay. I'll uh, I'll I'll come back to this when uh, when this is working, so I can test the next thing I want to try out. Okay, so uh, we're back. Uh, I believe I've fixed the issue. Um, all I can say is that cores and S3 really aren't the best of friends. So if we give that a try, it should upload. Uh, uh, let's refresh this. Let's clear. Wow, four seconds. Oh yeah, but it's the dev version. That's pretty cool. Wow, T meg. Nice. This is pretty. Prime cache and cache. Hmm. I might come back to this. Cache responses too. Yeah, I mean, we're in dev, so it's not. We don't cache anything. Okay, so what I want to check is that uh, this image is being cached. Um, so let's attach that guy down there. Let's clear this. <clears throat> right. This is being re-rendered, but I don't see the requests down here, which is strange. Okay, why am I not seeing the request for that in the network request? Uh, 
Donc ça tue un. Oh. That image is there. Uh. Surely I would see cached requests in the network anyway. Okay, um, I haven't got any, oh, disable cache, let's get rid of that, because we're actually testing the cache. Let's just refresh, start again from scratch. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to leave everything on here to start off with, so it can be lots of lovely foot through fours, and I'm going to upload an image. Let's choose a different one. There we go. Okay, so the image is loaded. So we can see the the whole kind of signing and then the put. So the get comes down. Cache control, excellent. That's exactly what I want to see. It's only uh, a minute or 60 minutes, but still. Uh, is it? Or is it 60,000? Yeah, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's close this. So I'm only seeing saves. Why am I not seeing requests for this image? There's nothing like JSBin isn't more just doing like a you know React type diff difference. That image is being re-rendered in the iframe every time. Am I not seeing all the requests? Is that it? Is there no because I saw that that get request is happening inside the iframe. Hmm, I'm kind of at a loss here. I'm just going to check this out in Chrome. Excuse me. <coughs> um, we're on the same code. Is this the output? And let's just refresh that. So these are my network requests. There's the screenshot. So Chrome has shown me the re-request for the, the image. And that's coming back as a 200 from cache. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. It's coming straight off the cache. Is the is it that Firefox is hiding that request? I still expect to see it. Okay, so that's kind of odd. Um, I might just edit all the way to this this bit. This is the useful bit, bit I guess, um, because I wanted to check what the what was going to happen with this this image as I was typing. Um, I mean, the, the point of this exercise was to get it so that um, this wasn't being requested all the time, but I'm not even seeing the actual network request happening. So um, it'd be good to uh, understand why that's happening. Um, yeah, otherwise, great. Cheers.